What's up you guys, Maddox here. Today I'm going to be walking you through my OBS Studio settings for the best quality for local recordings in terms of 1080p, 60fps, lossless quality, no performance hit, multiple audio tracks for your post-production convenience. I'm also going to be using the NVEC NVIDIA encoder, but you can use your AMD equivalent or just your CPU. So the first thing you want to do is download OBS Studio from the link down in the description below. Choose your operating system accordingly, download and install, and I'll meet you guys at OBS. So once you open up the program, you'll be greeted by a similar screen to this. You want to head down to the bottom right to settings, and we can start the configuration. So general, stream and advanced should all be left at default, but just to go through them, we will go into advance, process priority, leave that at normal, your render it might be DX12 if you're using one of the new NVIDIA cards, for me it's DX11, that is your render or your AMD equivalent obviously, color format, leave that at NV12, color space at 601, full color range, this is your file name formatting, so basically your date and time, and this is also your default, so click apply, move on to hotkeys, you want to be choosing something that's not used in game obviously, so start and stop, I'm using a care of my number pad, this little dash there, click apply, move on to video. Now for video, for the base resolution, you want to set that to the native resolution of your monitor, so it might be 4K or 2K, and the output resolution is basically what's going to be recorded, so 1080p, for me my base resolution is 1080p as well, so not changing at all, Langsos is going to give you the best quality which is 32 samples, your common FPS value, you want to set that at 60 frames per second, which is really the standard now for YouTube. Now jump over to audio, which is where things get a little bit more complicated. You want to set your sample rate at the same as your microphone, so basically make it priority in quality. So down the bottom right, you can right click on your speakers, click recording devices, right click on your microphone, properties, advance, two channel, which is stereo, 16 bit, 44, 100 hertz. You want to basically line those up so they're the same if it's 48 hertz choose accordingly here 44.1 it shouldn't make a massive difference it shouldn't make any difference whatsoever but just to be safe we want to set that at the same as our microphone to basically prioritize that quality now channels stereo rather than mono of course and this is where the split audio comes into it so microphone you want to be choosing accordingly here 80 20 20 plus usb microphone and then here is basically where i split my audio so for for me i like to have my microphone on one channel my game on another channel and my team speak or skype on another channel so three different devices. So microphone obviously is very simple and then my Astra A40s is here um, but my, my monitor which is basically this one and my Astra A40s both feed into the same mix amp which feeds into one headset so I can split the audio there because it has optical and USB audio uh, but if you haven't got an Astra mix amp or another way of splitting audio you can download the virtual audio cable which I won't go through in this video but I'll link down a tutorial that I think is good. I haven't found it yet but I will find one and I'll link a download down there as well so you can split your audio through that but basically with virtual audio cable you're going to be um, setting that in game as your all through your team speak as your default device and then basically in your your mixer down here you want to be basically setting uh, that virtual audio cable to be listened to by your default headset so you're basically splitting audio but you're listening to that virtual audio cable through your headset so it's a bit weird but it's a great way of splitting audio if you don't have the uh, the hardware so that's that and we can move on to output now don't worry about streaming because we are local recording you want to change output mode to advance and head over to recording standard type you want to choose a, a nice recording path so for me it's on my ssd i've still got the dxtory recordings folder obviously not using dxtory anymore because the file size on that are way too big uh, and now recording format you want to choose mp4 you don't want to choose any of the others because we want to use multiple audio tracks and this is the one that allows that for your audio tracks you want to be choosing however many you choose in here so i've got microphone monitor headsets when here we want to choose three if you've got four like two microphones and two devices choose accordingly if you're only using your headset and your microphone choose two for me it's three encoder i'm choosing the nvidia encoder which is the same as shadow play it's going to give you no performance hit at really really awesome quality it's not going to effect in game at all it's really really great so use your amd equivalent or x264 which is basically your cpu for me i use nvec so if you want to be following my my settings this is what you do so for rate control i want to set that at cbr which is constant bit rate and i want to set that at 50,000, which is great for 1080p 60 fps it's going to give you really small file sizes but insane quality it's almost going to be lossless it's great and it's really finding the balance between like quality and like file size which dx story didn't do very well preset leave it at default profile main level auto two pass encoding is going to be processing the frames twice it's going to give you the best quality for gpu if you're using sli like i am you can choose to use whichever like graphics side you want i just leave it on zero to let it decide it's going to make the best decision 
audio, you want to make sure all your audio bit rates are at the maximum, which is 320, and you can name them, so my microphone, headset, monitor, all feeding into the same audio device, and it's all good and dandy. So apply those settings, click OK. Now last but not least, you want to go down and click on Mixer, which is going to bring up your microphone, your two audio devices, in my case. So I've got my headset, monitor, microphone, all at volume 100%, which is what you want. I would recommend turning your microphone down to about 80%. I've got mine on 75, just so it's not clipping, because it's a condensed microphone. Now now for tracks, all these are going to be ticked, so they're going to be all like this, all three channels, or four channels, or however many you have selected. Uh, so for my microphone, I want to have that on track one, so I untick everything but track one. My monitor, I want to have that on track three, and my desktop audio, which is my headset, on track two. And that's going to basically, in Sony Vegas, you're going to have three tracks in this order, track one, two, three, and it's going to be all good and dense. So exit out of that, and we can make a scene. Here I already have my two scenes for my two monitors, so it's basically going to be a display capture. Down here, add. Display capture, display capture two, we can leave it at that, doesn't really matter. And then you can basically choose your two uh, your two displays here. So they're both 1080p, click on display capture zero, it's going to preview both ones. Capture cursor, yes, click OK. And it's going to bring up this crazy screen, which is crazy inception. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into a team split with my friend. We're having a game running, so it's going to record the... And we're going to actually use OBS Studio rather than OBS Classic, which you guys can see down here recording today's video, because obviously I can't record studio to record a studio tutorial. So... I'm going to jump into a TeamSpeak, so it's going to be recording the TeamSpeak audio on one channel, game audio on another channel, and also my microphone on a separate channel. Alright, so we're all ready to go for the audio test. I've got Black Ops 3 Theatre open in the background, which is going to be our Astro A40 sound. I've got TeamSpeak open, which is going to be our second device, and OBS, obviously. It's weird having this all on the same monitor, but this is for your benefit, and uh, should be all good and dandy. So I'm going to jump into, I'm going to move this over here onto my second monitor. I'm going to jump into a call with my friend. We're going to play Black Ops 3 in the background, and we will see how it all sounds in Sony Vegas in just a moment so let's go into this channel hello there was no password on the thing but can you just say a couple of things and do an audio test hey welcome to the team speak <laughs> i hope you enjoy your stay <laughs> all right i'm gonna play black ops 3 in the background then we should get all this audio so let's find me because that's gonna be the best gameplay <laughs> oh okay nah you're the worst oh, oh little double oh 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 the trip ski that was not set up whatsoever. All right, thanks, Belly. Now that we've done the audio test, we can go to our file location, get the MP4 and drag it onto Sony Vegas. It's gonna open it up. And one thing that is gonna troll you, if you just click on the MP4 here, it might only play one of the audio tracks or two of the audio tracks. Very rarely will it play all three. I think it's an issue with Windows Media Player. VLC Media Player might be different. Uh, but for me, it only plays one or two. So make sure before you, you write off OBS and you're doing practice recordings and you're just thinking it's only recording one, put it in Sony Vegas because as you can see, all three audio tracks all working brilliantly. So if we just play this real quick, this is me entering in, you can hear my microphone hey, and the team speaking in the background, Brad talking there. And then later in here, we can see the game, the grenade blowing up getting really loud. We can basically turn this down oh. and uh, just oh. match up all the audio. Oh. We can mute the microphone, mute team speak, and just have the game sound going. So it all works really, really well. I definitely recommend you guys check out OBS. Best of luck using all their settings and in the path of YouTube. It's a great space, and I wish you guys the best of luck if you guys are using OBS Studio with all those local recording settings. But streaming is very different. I recommend you guys go to someone who actually does stream those settings, but for local recording, these are the best, and it's going to give you low file sizes, lossless quality, like no performance here whatsoever, 1080p, 60fps, uh, and it's just great. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know down in the comments below if you have any further questions out of any of the settings that I chose and why I chose them, or any questions about some of the things that I talked about today. Leave them in the comments below. I'll be able to answer those. Thank you all so much for watching a tutorial on Sony Vegas coming out for you guys tomorrow running through my render settings because I've discovered and I've just been working on something for ages trying to like going through all the individual settings and getting all the right render settings for YouTube and it's just so so good uh, the last video that I actually uploaded was with these render settings so if you'd like to check that out I'll link it at the end of this video as an annotation and also down in the description below so you guys can see the sort of quality you guys can expect from the render settings that I'm gonna be showing you guys in tomorrow's video so thank you all so much for watching and I shall see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, yeah.